So I am at LAX. It's pretty loud. Still April. Um, not April. It's May 3, and I'm just waiting for my sister and niece. I'm probably gonna try filming them. Um going down the escalator like I did with my sister but I have to find out where the escalator is first but yeah I'm just headed there walking trying to find where the area is since I can go to the baggage claim and wait for them there so they landed now apparently four minutes ago according to uh, Google when I looked up their flight and now I'm just waiting for them at the escalator where they should be going down. I'll show you it soon. Right now it's a different flight that's going down. Apparently like they're just getting out of the airplane right now so we'll see. I don't know yet. So I'm literally just waiting on them at the escalator. I'm also near the elevator just in case they use the elevator. But I'm by the escalator. I said they arrived like almost 20 minutes ago. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film them going down just because of where I am. We'll see. I'm just waiting. I don't know how it usually takes from when you land to like when you walk. Because I don't know where they see, where they end up sitting also. So yeah. There's a lot of people today at the airport. I was not expecting this many people. But kind of makes sense. It is a weekday. Again, May 3. So I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. You'll see, because probably like the ne after the next few clips, I'm guessing if you really wanna find out, you'll skip these next few clips. But I'm just waiting. My dad's also waiting, but he's like sitting down and I'm waiting with the cart because I'm like that. <laughs> I'm that excited. There is so many people going down, but I don't see them. I hope they don't use the elevator so it doesn't like not go with when I'm filming. But if they use the elevator, then I don't end up filming them, but I'll get closer to the escalator to see if they're there because I think this is the flight that they were on one of the gifts that they brought back for me is a Nutella donut from Tim Hortons which is in Canada only I think okay so it is April 4 and I have a chocolate. I ate a Nutella donut because that's what they had. Hold on, I'll just open the bag and then show you some of the gifts that I have. So this is the first chocolate. Um, it's usually just found in Canada or like the UK. This is the second chocolate. And then there's this chocolate and this chocolate. And then this is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing for going to Universal. So that's the outfit I'm gonna be wearing. So the first place we're going to for Adventure Week is Universal. So I'm gonna film whenever I can film. I'll try filming. Um, but yeah, as again, this is my outfit. Um, I'm gonna maybe film while we're going to City Walk. I'm gonna enter a picture of me and my niece right here first. But you'll probably see her in my video clips. If she's like okay with being in my video if not then you'll just see in pictures I mean like in the parking lot area right now so we are in line for the minion ride and I am with my niece say hi. Hi. and my sister say hi, hi. <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting in line for the minion ride. It's really hot and I'm already sweating. After the line, this is the first part of the minion ride when you enter because there's the first part and then another part after that and then the ride. Now this part 
is the ride of Transformers in Universal. This is just like going through the line. The line wasn't long since we went on a Thursday. But it's just a lot of walking before you get to the actual ride. And then I'll show you another clip of us going to like another part of the line. But I'm just showing you the view of how it is. I don't know the people that are in front of me, but this is like all the views of what you would see if you were standing in line for the Transformers ride and everything. So yeah, now I will go to a clip with all the sounds. So the fate of the earth is in your hands. Take the Allspark to safety. Optimus. We are leaving the bottom floor. Building here. This is what we call Bud Westmore. Now, here at Universal Studios, we're like a mini city. We have our own fire department, which you guys all saw, Fire Station 51. And uh, on the top floor of Bud Westmore, we have our own hospital wing. Bud Westmore, a lot of times, filmmakers, they want to shoot big city sequences, but they need a controlled and safe area to do that. That's exactly what they get to do. That is the famous clock tower that Doc Brown hung from in the first Back to the Future movie. Uh, however, looking at that clock tower, you might notice it does look a little bit different now than it did in the movie. In the movie, there were large pillars in front, now there's a separate wall. Well, the reason for that, those pillars became so recognizable that any filmmakers that shot here after Back to the Future had to change the building's appearance. Otherwise, people would just think, oh, Back to the Future. Favorites, Iron Man 3, starring Robert Downey Jr. down here, as well as Captain America, the first Avenger, starring Chris Evans. Now, guys, I could talk non-stop about New York. You know someone that knows quite a bit about New York? My co-host, Jimmy Fallon. Hey, yo, Jimmy. Hey, everyone, welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. What's got mugged over there? An old woman. Tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> So this is part of the tour where you see different um, cars from different movies as it is mentioned in the signs behind the cars. And I'm just going to talk because they play um, some background music that might be copyrighted. But as you see, there's Fast and Furious and Flintstone movie cars and other like cars that you can see. Like Jurassic Park, there you go. And one of the Jurassic Park is missing because they're filmed. See, there's a different system. So this part of the ride is a an experience that gives you of a big earthquake that happened in NorCal around San Francisco a long time ago. And they just give us an experience of how it was filmed in a movie, but it also was an actual earthquake that happened. So of course, when going to Universal, you have to watch at least one show, and that show is usually Waterworld, and this is how it looks. I heard it was renovated, but I don't really know what exactly changed.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Cats of Waterworld. Thank you! You might recognize our cat from their work in film and television. So this is us entering into the Harry Potter part of Universal California or Hollywood as it would be called. But it is very similar to the one in Florida, obviously, because it's a like the part that they're trying to copy. And I'm just showing you the view. If you watch my Florida one, I think I show you the view over there too. This one is just a smaller version and has the main parts. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to try my wand if it worked at the windows here because of time. But it's taking us a while because we're finding the ride. So this is one. <laughs> this is one of the two rides that is here at Universal on the Harry Potter side. Um, so we're going to this one because the wait is shorter, and then we're gonna go to the other one. My sister's not with us just because she wants to rest it out, and we're like almost done with all the rides and everything. So. We might even be finished before they close Universal. But yeah, we're headed there. That's the entrance. Um, and that's how the rides looks like. Here we go. Well done. Go on then. I don't know how fast this goes, so I am. Going to put my phone down now. So after that, th we went to the second ride of Harry in the Harry Potter part of Universal Hollywood, and I'm just showing you the walkway because it does end up getting dark after. I can probably show the parts where there's a little bit of light, but it's hard. And this is one of the busiest rides that was going on that day where we had to wait a little bit longer than other rides. I think this one was like a 20 minute ride, a uh, wait, while other rides were a shorter wait than that. So in the Harry Potter area, there is this candy store that they have, that they have the all different types of candy that is in the movie. Uh, that you can think of which most is like chocolate flavored so my niece just wanted to go here so we're looking around but it goes all the way to that other side <laughs> 